Hi guys, good evening. Guys, a lot of persons are asking like we should discuss in English. We means you and me, and it's kind of discussion only and not a teaching kind of thing. And some persons are also saying that uh, we should also discuss the articles of Indian Express. So what we can do here, we can discuss the two three articles in the evening of Indian Express and that too in English. We will use the simple English uh, to discuss the articles so that Hindi medium students can easily understand the Indian Express articles. I don't know it it would work or not, but at least we can try. Let's see how the things work out here. So first article here is of series and charges. Guys, you are aware that in the recent times uh, there have been lot of allegations against the government of misusing the Sedition Act that is 124A. A lot of examples here can be given where the government misused the Sedition Act. Like the recent example of uh, Ramya, a Kannada actress uh, who said that uh, Pakistan is not hell and uh, sedition charges were slapped against her. And also taking the case of Maharashtra government and cartoonist Asim Trivedi, a lot of times this uh, Sedition Act has been misused. So the case of abusement went to Supreme Court. A NGO went to Supreme Court asking that Supreme Court must lay down the guidelines regarding the use of this Sedition Act. And you know what happened? Supreme Court denied. Why Supreme Court denied? Because Supreme Court said that guidelines are already there and guidelines were laid out in the 1962 in the case of Kedarnath versus Bihar government. What happened in that case? In 1962, uh, a petitioner went to Supreme Court asking that Supreme Court must abolish the Sedition Act because it was constituted into the British times and now there is no use of this act. But Supreme Court didn't abolish that, uh, that act. And Supreme Court said that uh, there is a need of uh, this act in the some grave circumstances. But Supreme Court led some guidelines in that case, Bihar government versus Kedarnath in 1962. What are those guidelines? Supreme Court explicitly said that mere use of words or mere use of uh, likelihood of inciting violence must not be used to slap the Sedition Act. Likelihood of inciting violence. Likelihood here is a very, very subjective term. And this the current uh, governments are misusing. Supreme Court also like paid attention on the intentions here and also said that uh, its merit must be evolved from case to basis. Nothing can be generalized about the Sedition Act. There's one thing uh, like I would like to say here. Whenever the question of Sedition Act comes in any exam, in mains exam, in essay or anywhere else, try to tell the examiner what is the context, in what context the Sedition Act came. It came in the British times. British government wanted to curb the voice of our Indian leaders, our freedom fighters. But now the circumstances have been completely changed. Now we are a democratic country. Our, we have the democratic values. So we can't brazenly use the Sedition Act to harass the people. So this was the first article. Second article, we discussed this article in Hindi earlier in the morning. As you are aware that there is a deficient monsoon in the Kaveri Basin region this time, particularly the Karnataka and the Tamil Nadu. So whenever there is a deficient monsoon, there is always a fight which gets erupted between the Tamil Nadu and the Karnataka about the division of water. And this happened this time also. Tamil Nadu went to Supreme Court and Supreme Court ordered the Karnataka to release the 15,000 cubic of water in the next upcoming 10 days. And you know what might have happened, you know, things like uh, local farmer bodies of Karnataka, they called it Band and uh, Siddharamaya also called all party meeting, these kind of things. Because it's an emotional issue, water is always an emotional issue and no political leadership because they have to gain the way votes. Sorry, Karnataka says that it doesn't have the enough water to release. And guys, it is true to some extent because, because of the deficient monsoon in the Kaveri Basin, major res reservoirs are dry there in Karnataka also. It is a new thing like Kaveri dispute has been there for a long time. I mean, it, even a tribunal was constituted to solve it and it gives it gave its verdict, verdict in 2007. So, so now like natural question emerges if the verdict is there of tribunal, so why again there is a fight? Because no state accepted that verdict of tribunal and all the four states which are related to Kaveri dispute 
like Kerala and Puducherry, they are also related to some extent. They re-appeal against the tribunal verdict. Actually, actually, the river allocates the sufficient water to every state in the normal times. But the problem is always there in the deficient times. When there is no water, like there is no monsoon, then there is a fight. Tribunal, tribunal award was also criticized, uh, you know, in what context? Because it didn't consider the groundwater, which is less in the upper riparian state and more in the lower riparian state. So now the Supreme Court asked the Karnataka to release the water and it is the upper riparian state. It has less groundwater and Tamil Nadu has more groundwater. So what will be the solution of this problem? Actually, farmers need to understand the need and the fear of each other farmers, like in both the states. And the second thing, what else can be done? Initiatives like Kaveri family, uh, Kaveri family, which is an interstate group of farmers can be started. Three, quick and accurate information dissemination. What, what would be the gain of this? At least farmers of both the states, like farmers of Tamil Nadu would get to know that uh, how much water the Karnataka is having, like they are also having the less water. So we, we should not protest like this. And uh, like they would, they, both the states farmers would understand the situation of each other. We should also bring efficiency in the water use and water utilization. Look, uh, it has been long since our focus is on the resource sharing and we are not paying enough attention towards the uh, water utilization and water use. So it is a high time we, we should pay attention towards this. And uh, the, look, water, Kaveri water is not going to increase and we have to mend our ways if we want to survive there. So besides this, we should also disincentivize the water incentive crops. These are some basic solutions. We should disincentivize water intensive crops. And the second thing, we should adopt those agriculture practices which reduces the over dependence on Kaveri. And third is, we should also increase the decentralized water management. These were the three simple uh, solutions and before this also we discussed some solutions. So guys, today uh, we discussed only two articles. So please give your feedback like uh, whether we can discuss two, three articles in the evening or not. Thank you very much for listening.